Hey, hey. Oh, Facebook sucks. Won't let you turn your device while live, huh? We will see. So this is the three minute mark. We gonna give y'all three minutes to join us. And we'll get started with the topic for tonight. Let's see how it goes. Uh, who's joining us over on the Instagram world? And am I sideways? Can you see me um, straight up? Or am I sideways? Because we got you sideways. Hoping to be able to see everything. Let me know. And, um, Kingdom Culinary, what's going on? How you living? We're waiting, you know, usual three minutes. Facebook said no to the sideways. Said you can't even go live sideways. True. <laughs> yes. Wow. Say, turn your phone back around. Which is messed up. You say Facebook said that or people? Facebook said that. <laughs> it said turn it said turn the phone back. <laughs> you know, while you're live. Yeah. You said you are sideways. Sideways. That's what I thought. We can't win for losing. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We just trying to allow y'all to be able to see both of us. What did I do? I done press something. What's up, Antoine? What's going on? Tony was good. Oh. Tony, this is going to be a good one because this is about, yay, <laughs> great. This this is going to be a good one, man. This is about the battles that uh, chefs face, working, hardworking chefs with their spouses. But we're going to give it, oh, we already gave it three minutes. All right, what up, what up, everybody? Um. <clears throat> So let me see when we got Antoine, you the only one on Facebook right now. No, yeah, I'm on Facebook right here, okay. Yeah. Um all right. So Tony, chime in please. So situation comes about as traveling I ain't even gonna say chef, a traveling employee. You know what I'm saying? You gotta travel for work. That's how you get your money. So let's say ah, I won't put this. We don't put too much out there. Don't um, put too much out there. We're not gonna put too much out there. Okay, let's let's go back. Let's no, go back. Back it up. Back it up. <laughs> Situation happened in your relationship, right? Uh, meaning, you know, <clears throat> you you had, you had company involved in your relationship. <laughs> <laughs> you had company involved in your late you relationship. Did a <laughs> Yeah, you had an entanglement had going on. You had an entanglement. Um, but it's over, you know what I'm saying? Moved on, rectified, all this stuff, right? Ex oh, that's why I said, that's why we said, gotta you got to, uh, yeah, listen to this one. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Now that, you know, you're supposed to work that out, whatever the case would be, this entanglement got a gig. But years later, right? Yeah, it was some time we got, we got, this is this is years later. So you have an entanglement while you're traveling for work or whatever. You marry, you have an entanglement, and and it's over. Y'all work that out. Carry on. Years later. So now you get a gig. Good good money gig. Again, good, that's how good, you good, make your good. money. 
We talking about bills paid for, you know, everything paid. I come back, everything's paid for the month, right? Your spouse got a problem with it because of who the job was with or for. It's your entanglement. <laughs> so now, as you, because you want to make sure your home good, now your mind is going, should I just stop? Should I just stop traveling for jobs and this, that, and the other? Uh, because it seems like they just want me to have a regular 95, 9 to 5 or whatever. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Tony, start. <laughs> ah, so How do you handle that? You know what I'm saying? And, I mean, well, that's a two-way thing here. You know, like, first of all, you cheated on your spouse. So, of course, they're going to feel it some kind of way. Go ahead, Mr. Kelly. There was no... We don't know if any cheating went on. It was an assumption that it may have been something going on. No, that person... They say they flirted. Said they flirted, yeah. So, we don't know if anything... It, it ain't wasn't as bad as Jada. You know what I'm saying? It was just no. a little flirting head made, whatever case may be. Yeah, it wasn't tangled stuff but, happening. But, they feel some type of way... Because, again, once they reconcile, of course, you got to put everything on the table. Look, this will happen. Boom, boom, boom. But, see, my thing is this. I'm as honest with you. Told you what was happening. What I'm, I've proven to you that I've changed. So, you say, why are we here? You going to let this mess up the money? Do you let this stuff mess up money? Yeah. Or do you go ahead and bow down? You going to leave your marriage for messing up the money? Because think about it. So now, okay, I'm going to oblige you, oblige you. I'm going to stop. Now, this stop money coming to the house. So now you on me because I'm not bringing any money in the house. How do you win? Mm. I mean, what do you do at this point? Thank you, Tony. I knew it was coming. So Tony say, so no entanglement here, but it looked, it looked me a, it or it took him a decade to build my business. I'm not stopping getting my bag for nobody. Mm, not even your wife. If this is your wife and she feels some kind of way about the people that you go work for, and those people that you work for used to get in the way, uh, used to. He said, "Nope." <laughs> you you getting a divorce? Huh? You checking the deuces? But no, because you said you tried. We 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 discussed it. We had this adult conversation. You know, we make mis- we make mistakes, and you trust and love and believe in a- and trust in the process. Also, so it shouldn't be no issues, yeah. especially if I've proven that I've changed since that point. You know I, I mean? agree. Like you forgive, you don't forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but you ain't about to let that mess up your money, right? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like. Because then you be complaining that they not working. There you go. So then you be miserable. Like I know some people like, well, just get another job. But this ain't the same. Mm -mm. Like like Tony was just saying, it took me a decade to build this this business. Now you want me to just stop because of insecurity? Because this because the entanglement was a long time ago. So why is it important now? Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. See, and my thing is. And I know, you know what I'm saying, we got to let, if you accepted me back from that situation, you know what I'm saying, we got over it, we over it, you know what I'm saying, we over it. You can't keep bringing it up and holding it in front of them because somebody's not over it. Yeah. And you so can't. So that's the, you got to always go to the root and the meat of the problem. Mm-hmm. And, and we understand what the root was. Don't get me wrong. I don't, I don't, I don't knock the person for feeling a certain way. Right. But once we discussed and we decide to move on. And you stayed. Yeah. That means you're willing to allow me to build my trust back up. And mm. obviously I've done that. Um, so and yeah. why would that so person go back to the person with the entanglement after going through all of that? Like maybe he, he uh, or she could take their spouse with them to do that particular yeah. event. If you feel, this, if you or, feel yeah, that strongly about it. But. But don't make them not do it, not make the money. Yeah, go. we got it. Yeah, that's how you solve that problem. I remember Jason Kidd, his wife went every game with him. Um, 
and oh, uh, Doug Christie. If anybody remember the Christies, yeah. everywhere. Matter of fact, they was playing the Wizards back in the day, and after the game, that's when he's with Sacramento. They go to uh, Love, right? She made sure she called Love and she gave instructions. We're coming up there. We're not signing nothing. No one's, no group is getting no pictures, no hugs, nothing. Mm-hmm. That, that's how she that's went. My man. Yeah, she, that's how she went. They still together? Uh, I got to check on that. But not, the way they was going, probably, it's like he was, he like he was trapped. But, um. <laughs> Whipped. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's how my, my, my take on that is, um, yeah. I mean, if you, y'all worked it out supposedly or whatever case, and then we, we got to we gotta move forward. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to mess, like you said, you don't want to mess them bag. And no people, oh, it ain't all about money, but is it? <laughs> how the bills get paid? And, and, and why I keep holding on to something? If you don't trust, and if you can't move forward with your life and, and your spouse, because you don't trust something that they did years ago, maybe y'all need to you know, reconvene this relationship because you can't hold somebody back off of insecurities that you're dealing with. Yeah. And and I get, I was not necessarily, get because it. something did that, happen. Yeah, or, something happened. Something caused the insecurity. But once you said, okay, we're going to move forward on this, then you have to move forward. If it happens again, then that's when you need to make the decision to leave. But you can't tell somebody, no, you can't go make this money. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I look at like I said from a business standpoint because again, if I have a business and it requires me to deal with, so I can't say I can't deal, I can't have this business with this particular person because of a past history. Um, and just even take this off the table. I was with an international rapper for four months in Miami last summer. There ain't no bringing off the wife. And there's no bringing a wife, and there was no cheating. I'm built different the, than most men. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And again, like I said before, I'm not knocking the other parties of you on it because again, they they obviously went through something that made her feel this way. Don't get me wrong. So yes, she's entitled to feel a certain way. But again, like I said, once you sit down and you look that person in the eye with her case and you accepted them mm-hmm. back or whatever the case is, you decided to reconcile whatever that means. Okay. I'm giving you my trust again, right? So, allow you you, you got to go with it. Like I said, if you're still uncomfortable with whatever, like you like, go with him. You know what I'm saying? Whatever case it be. But understand, you're going. You're going as a worker. You know what I'm saying? You going. Right, you know what I'm saying? Not say, just no, as that, I mean, you're still his wife. Whatever case, but understand why you're there. You are gonna go and mess that business up, mess that money up, acting the fool. Yeah. Do you think I, they could go? I don't think so. My um, I, I don't know. I don't know. Sink. I mean, I don't know. But. Um, a buddy of mine, he had a, uh, just had a launch and his, his, you know, significant, whatever she was out there, she was serving you know what I'm saying. And, um, she was, uh, running the, the, the she was like an expediter type of thing whatever, but she jumped in when she got in. Like she understood that was the dude dream and goals or whatever case that she's, I'm going to support it. Um, Yes, she's gonna mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but I mean, it was like, and so now this particular job warranted a bigger job, which is going to require traveling. Mm-hmm. What do you do? You know what I'm saying? Like, Thomas baby, said you got it. Forget that. He's getting his money. Yeah. But I'm just saying, this is a significant you got. You can't stop. You can't hold. You can't pitch and hold somebody, right? If, I don't know, Ronnie back in the day dated uh, one of them gospel, but she got going to tour with this dude and they're going to be gone for No, nah, you ain't going with him. No. This may. And you know, and some people say I'm an a-hole and I'm all this or whatever. They do. Yeah. <laughs> A person going to do whatever they're going to do. You only can control what you can control. Mm-hmm. We cannot control another adult. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So you have to trust the fact that they're going to do what they say they're going to do. That's all you can do. If it turns out to be something else, then you have a decision to make. Yeah, and if if somebody that I messed with was on a musical tour, you know, I would say, Drake, come with me, you know? Or And I got to, yeah. Is it, yeah if I yes feel a no. certain way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm like, no, no, I'm going or whatever. 
But I mean, I don't even think I would do something because I'm still doing it out of I don't trust you, so I'm going. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just me. Everybody's different. Um But yeah, I, I just don't I don't I can't control another adult. I can't control what someone's gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Like I used to tell this dude this so I I used to run with this dude, right? And this dude was heated one day. He called me, he was like, Man, he was he gonna you know, step to this dude and crush he's gonna do all the all the yada yada. So I said, Okay. I'm just saying, let's say you do. Let's say you go just do whatever you say you're going to do. Short of killing this person, right? Mm. Let's say you beat the brakes off of them, right? Let's say you did that. Now, you got charged with assault. You still getting time, right? This man not dead. So, if there was attraction with her and him, guess what's going to happen? They it's going to happen. They gonna be together. So, you didn't you didn't got yourself locked up for what? Nothing. You can't control adult people going to do what people going to do. I mean, it is what it is. You can, all you can do is, you know, hope that this person, you know, won't, whatever. But we human, you know. Um, but if you really loved a person, why would you take their dream from them just to appease you? You know, like, don't do not do that. You can't. Why don't you just get a regular job? That's kind of selfish. The, uh, love is not selfish. That's true. But it... it I, don't, I can't really get too much into it, but it's deeper. I, I get it. You know what I mean? I'm a, like, I'm, a, I'm a woman, okay? I get it. It started somewhere, mm-hmm. but it's been years now. It's been years. Mm-hmm. So if that we feeling can't, is still there. The whole time you're in jail, he would be beat the box off your wife. That's all I'm saying. You love facts. Hey, you know what I'm saying? So you go do all of this or whatever. Look, if that woman, old dude told me this. Long time ago, so we don't control that. So when you all here thinking you don't, man, I done pulled it. I didn't trust me. She already had in her mind that she was gonna rap with you. She was gonna roll with you. You know what I'm saying? We don't really have control over them, man. You know what I'm saying? They gonna do what they want to do. They mind made up. When they once they mind is made up, it's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? Like we think irrational. Sometimes we just jump out. You know, they didn't thought that thing through. <laughs> maybe, maybe they should go to counseling. They may have. I don't been, know. It's been some, yeah. It's been some years, though. Like, I've been hurt and not trusting and gone through some stuff. But if it's still to that point, years later, then I'm with them. But see, I think it's because. the wrong person. But see, it's not like it's just I don't trust you. You know what I'm saying? So It's just that that particular situation. (laughs) All right, I got you, T. I'm about to fill you in. So that particular situation, though, is what's. It It ain't like they're saying you can't go. You know, do your thing. For, so for but other stuff, that particular gig, nah, you can't do that. Anymore. Even though nothing happened, you said it wasn't an entanglement. It, it from nothing what I was, it wasn't no entanglement. But it was you little, gonna mess you know, up all this money? But we don't know. She's still without even with counseling. Yes, yeah, yeah, you gotta because you don't know saying. where to There's from. an internal problem there. So, T, what we're talking about is um, you you. Let's say your your husband travels for work, right? But I don't know. A little while ago, y'all had a little situation. Situation wasn't as great, so with some flirtation going on somewhere else, blah blah blah, right? But y'all reconciled. Y'all right? Y'all, y'all, y'all fixed all that. Y'all decided, you know what? We're gonna fix this. We're gonna move forward. Cool. But one of his gigs is a job. The the person paying for the job is the person that. The entanglement happened with. What do you do? Do you allow him to go? I don't say allow because he's going. But do you are you okay with him going to handle that event? Or you feel a certain way because of who the event is being handled by? Yeah, I like this because that's a woman's point of view. Because my perspective is if we got past it, we got through it. And this is years later. T, this is some years later that this person asked. Uh, for this person to come in and, and take care of that business. It's, and it's going to open up other job opportunities. So you're going to mess up the money for your spouse or y'all already moved on. Yeah. That, that's that's a, what we're talking about. Um, I wouldn't, me, me personally, being in the business and the type of business I have, whatever, if the money is Calling me to Africa, I'm going to Africa. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to go get the bag. Now, um, 
of course, I'm not in a particular situation like like that, whatever. But on the significance part, that you got to you accepting me back. You know what I'm saying? Meaning like we work, so you got to give me that trust. Mm -hmm. Um. Because something was there that made you want to come back. And I know sometimes we do fall for... Cr- out of sight, out of mind. Woo! Out of, out of so you say, out of sight, out of, sight, out of mind. mind. Go get that bag. Come on home. Come on home. Because what I was saying to you, as adults, we going to do what we want to do. Right? You can't really control an adult. You can say in hope and pray and everything that when they go do, you know, they're going to do what they say they're going to do. That's all we can do. You and know? now I mean, the person is thinking, maybe I should put this job down. Maybe, you know, maybe this is causing yeah. a problem. They're starting to consider, like, giving it up. And, heck no, I wouldn't mess that money up for us. Exactly. Um, He's actually, like, in the, because he really wants it. Like, he really wants this. So, he's, like, even considering, like, maybe I should just stop and just... Just get a regular nine to five. So my thing is now you're miserable. Now you're suddenly to be miserable. Y'all both miserable because yeah, you ain't gonna bring in the bag like that. You ain't bringing in the money. You're not doing what you want to do, and she's still gonna be complaining once you leave because now you ain't bringing in no money. I had another guy, buddy of mine, started out same 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 situation, whatever. Um, I'm sorry, I had two friends, same situation. One his significant, she stuck it out. They traveling the world now because now he she 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 see it she seen it she was like nah I ain't giving this up because I know what's gonna happen later on and he secured that bag he put himself in a position where guess what they live in luxury they traveling they did that you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. the other situation the female left now my man he's continued on guess what he in the same boat as the other one she missed out you know I, I hate to say she missed out but she's not she missed out. She's not getting the fruits that, you know, of her labor or whatever. I have some chef friends whose wives keep them from making a ton of money. Out of town money. Out of town money. Out of town money is the way to go in my field anyway. How can... I was actually in that situation before and yep, I sent him on his way to be her security. (laughs) Nigga, mwah, go get that bag. Get that money. See, you can come back. <laughs> because cause what happens in the dark is going to come out in the light. You're going to find out yeah. if, if something happened again. And if it does, then that's when you make your decision to move on. Don't be that's stressing you yourself about what could possibly happen. And is he going to do it again and all that crap? No, but you're not about to be stopping money for that. Right. Hey, Julia, how's it going? Yeah. Man, yeah, that, yeah. I, I wouldn't. But um, mm-hmm. yeah. On the flip side, like like fellas or whatever, women, whoever, um, we gotta understand that. Like it, we can't sit here and tell a person how short of a time or how long of a time to get over something, right? Right. So I, I can't knock her. Get over how it. she feels. How <laughs> she feel? You know what I'm saying? You over it yet? Yeah. Over what? Anything. <laughs> hey, Andy. Um. Hey, so hey. I can't. I, I won't put that on her. Um, given the stipulation, like say she feels that's how she feel, whatever you know what I'm saying. So, and again, let me say this: they're not stopping the bag; they just uncomfortably securing that bag from that person. We got a what's the topic question, basically. <laughs> See, this is why y'all need to come in at 7.33, so we don't have to keep talking about this topic, but the topic is you got a person that works and works out of town often, and they were in a situation where they worked out of town and they got in an entanglement with somebody. They got over it with their spouse. Them and their spouse are still together, okay, and two years have passed. And now that same person that they got in a past entanglement with has hired them, their spouse again. And the, uh, I guess the wife doesn't want them to go and also is talking about maybe finding another career choice. Uh, would you do that? Would you stop your spouse from doing that? No, don't worry. Good, no, yeah. Andy, I'm just messing with you. See, people don't know what I'm playing. I'm kidding, Andy. Um, thank you, Andy. It. Right, because I've been here like, well, yeah, I don't know. Um, so my thing is this though. I don't know who ever seen 
Facts. <laughs> What's up, Allison? Um, Julie just messed me up. All right, congratulations, <laughs> Julie. All right, I see y'all winning. Um, uh-uh. <laughs> come on. So here's the thing. I don't know if any of you guys seen what's my movie. Acrimony. Acrimony. All right, and it, as I'm as she's talking, whatever, it just popped in my head. So I hope you guys seen. It. If you haven't seen it, please watch this and watch it with your spouse. Oh my god. <laughs> So it's a situation where this dude was in college with this young lady and kind of got into a tangle with another lady. Didn't really, you know what I'm saying? The entanglement, I guess, didn't pan out. So he, you know, stuck with his, his, his girl. They worked it out. Uh, he was very ambitious about a certain situation. She ran, it, 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 it ran its course mm-hmm. to the point where she's like, I can't do it. The girl from the entanglement Popped back up and helped him. You know what I'm saying? So, what do you? And, then, <laughs> and, and she, got rich after that. He, yeah. he blew up. What do you do? Read it out loud. Are you reading to yourself? <laughs> that chick must be a bad chick, and the wife must be um not so bad. Mm. She's a jokey, jokey. Um, but you know what? I'm going to say this, like I said, um, all of us too, but like we can't, we can't we determine the, how, she's thinking. you know what I'm saying? Because when you've been hurt, and again, we talked about it before, when you've been hurt, you've been hurt. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of some people, oh, that's nothing. That, we can't tell another person like what affects you and what doesn't. Yeah, because I thought uh, that person came out and told what happened. I don't know if she actually met her or saw her or anything, right? No, they never, they never. Met, but he was honest. They he sat was down honest. and they, they yeah. like I said, it's basically like you know what? I want this to work. Let's put everything, put everything on the table. Yeah, I was. So uh, she, I, was, I don't think she even knows what. And my man was a wild boy. So I'm just saying, and and changed yeah, because man. he loves yeah. his so wife. So he is, he is, you know, as far as I know, as far as what I see, he has did a 360. Um, happy for him. I'm proud proud of him. Um, and I don't want nothing but but success for them. Um, but I really don't want my man to be miserable and mess around and give up his dream. Yeah. Um, because of insecurities. Yeah, because of a situation. Now, it, it, I mean, if it happened, I mean, I. This was Devil's Gavin coming. It'd be his own fault it because of things would. that happened. Whatever yep. you know, what I'm saying. But, um, and, I, but and I, I think they get over it. Again, I she's think not. Get over it she's not saying don't go get the bag. She just don't want you to go get that particular bag. So Which I mean, is a lot that. of bag. You know what I'm saying. So, but me meeting meeting him, uh, I've only met him twice. But even in meeting him, I can see. That he really loves his wife. Like he he was a particular character before. And he did some things that he's not proud of. But he is doing everything possible to make that work. Because that's where he wants to be. Mm-hmm. So like I think in, in getting past it and moving forward. They should be getting past it and moving forward. It really even shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, I mean my thing again. <laughs> People gonna do what they want to do. You gonna do what they want to do. I hate this, but for the people that are that are being allowed to go out and do what they do, remember somebody, the other person can do whatever they want to do. Mm-hmm. Got so you remember now, what's good for the goose, good for the gander. Good for the gander. All right, I'm gonna go since ladies first. Okay, Tony, ladies first. T said, "Much respect to him for his honesty, but for her." Healing, it may be a process. Yeah, that's yep. what I was saying. But he need to get that particular bag <laughs> and all the bags. Hey, I'm with you. Then Tony says, then you give up your career and be internally angry sitting on the couch. <laughs> hey, 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 Tony. What the couch? What's the couch? <laughs> I got, I got this from Tony. This used to be one of his things. What's the couch, Tony? Oh boy. What the couch do? But um. Yeah, um, I agree, uh, T, with you. Um, yeah, let's not mess this money up. And again, it's just this particular bag. I'm going to say that. And um, even with that, I think it can be worked out. It, you know I what think saying? it can be worked out. The couch is death. My man, Tony. That's his slogan. Death? The yeah. couch is death. Oh, for being lazy, laying on the couch. 
doing nothing on the couch where I've been since March of 2020. <laughs> Save me. Um, I think it could be worked out. Like instead of canceling all the money, go make this a romantic trip for you two. You know, go out there with them. Book, book up in a hotel and and you know be be nasty you know <laughs> now, Re, be, uh, rekindle do some things and then he go get that money then come back and y'all spend that time together yeah now in a situation now so one of the guys i was talking about earlier who wife stuck it out and now she's living a life like she's living the life so when he goes on events um not all his events are out of town or whatever case but when he goes to certain ones, yeah, that's what he do. Um, he make it a a trip, so he's working. So maybe he's supposed to be there for a week. He'll book it for two weeks, so he'll work. Then the follow, then the next week they just chill. They just chill. You know it's what I'm just saying? Them. So it's a problem, but, but but you got to be in that situation. I get it because you know, you know, Fars with my man, he not in that joint yet, and I'm not either. So, Cuzzo, what's going on? Uh, so. Cause we talking about um oh, cause you might can jump jumping in. So you talking about being married, and you you guys had a situation in your marriage, some you know bumpy roads, right, entanglements, whatever. But you got over, you supposedly got over it. So now you travel for work. The entanglement that you had becomes a client now. The significant other. Ain't, ain't ain't down with it. They just ain't down with it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So we sitting here like, how do you, how does that handle? Do you just not go get the bag? You know, to appease her? Man, spouse can't be messing up money though. Like, y'all supposed to be getting that money. You gotta, yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Can't you mess up the money, I'm man. with you, but we, yeah, I yeah. agree. But we don't know the in the depths. I try to put myself in that position again and again and again. The thing that keeps getting getting I can't get past is that we work this out. This is two years later. So it's like you did you work it out with me thinking that this person would never come back up again and then we could just oh, wipe so it out. Yeah, it you know, could happen. Or, yeah, happen. or or you know, did we really get over it or did you kind of just tuck it? Like it, sometimes it's cool. Yeah, because sometimes she come back. Yeah, sometimes you put a bandaid or certain things, That's and all of a sudden, it, yeah. that person pop up, pop back up, and that bandaid come off. You like, yeah. it's hurt again. It's, you know what I'm saying? It so it sounds like a bandaid situation. Yeah, yeah. Like so, it so, wasn't really resolved. Yeah, you know, or the the wound hasn't, you know, the scab ain't healed. stabbed up yet. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, and um, and it, well, again, we can't say how much time we're gonna take for that the scab to heal up, but that's that's I, that's a sit down conversation. That's a sit like, down you know, conversation. I mean, this did, what I did love he to do. do this more is my career. after that. That I don't know. Yeah, don't cause know. maybe that's why I don't know. I don't know, but but yeah, but um, yeah, this is interesting. I mean, yeah. So, I uh, yeah, I'm, I'm all for the bag. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, and, you know what? I'm gonna say this. I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm just just for the bag. Like Tony said, it took him a decade to build this business. So now, so all the hard work and everything, I just got it. Just, eh? mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. you can play devil's advocate. Then it's like, which I hate. Then then you got to choose. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, and then that's going to be a, a issue. This is just, it's not a good situation. Yo. <laughs> so uh, even, I hope no one ever has to go through that. And you know even in that choice. Sometimes in these situations, there's children involved. So, See, that's one. That's another reason with this particular one because there are small individuals involved, so they might can't, they might want to go, but can't because again, they, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So, mm, mm. but they can work it out. I mean, they they made it through some some. This this right here is easy for them. You know what I'm saying? They went through some 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 real stuff, and I believe this right here. It, it's, we yeah. root, but it was just good we for, rooting for you. Oh yeah, but um, like I say, we just thought it was a good topic, just in general. Um, not necessarily with them because I know they can work that out. I ain't worried about that. But um, just curious, you know what I'm saying? But um, because I never thought about that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, go out of town or whatever the case may be. Client be like, oh shoot, it's an old, you know, woo woo. woo. 
Dre be oh, running up on that? some old woo woo woo, and I be like, oh, you was with them. Get in that bag. I be messing with him though. Be like, oh, you was with them. He, that's what he say. Get in that bag. But you used to be with them. He be like, yep, used to. And guess what? They giving up that <laughs> they bag. They giving up right that now. money, and I be like, oh, okay. You know, <laughs> it is what it is. Cause guess what? I got the ring. <laughs> so, but, um, that stuff don't matter. You yeah. gotta trust your partner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you forgive him, move forward, build more trust. And then when you see your uh, significant really, you know, on a grind, you know, they're not bojangling with it. Like, my man out here grinding. Yeah, so but to a woman s- that got cheated on, they don't know if they grinding or out there grinding, if you get what I mean. Yeah, but I'm just saying, he always just doing great. Like, you you know, you've been with him long enough, you know, mm-hmm. this dude, he came a long way. So, yeah, I... Ah, don't take that away from that man. Don't take that away from that man. Um, and on that other side, like I just said, you know, do everything you can, whatever, to reinstate that trust back in her. Um, let her feel, you know, let her know. Let her feel, because she just want to feel comfortable. How long, though? How long is too long to be trying to build the trust up? Two years, three years, four years, five years, you still it's trying to build number. that trust? The and number, the numbers are on the other person. How long are you willing? How long to, are you willing to? Right, right. Because it, like you said, I can't, you can't say three. That's like when someone pass away in the life, and you be like, "All right, get over. They're gone." You can't tell a person how long they gonna mourn. Yeah, I know a girl right now. Mom been died died fifteen years ago. Mm. She still act like it happened yesterday. But who am I? I can't. You know. Um, but yeah, that's, you have that's to know number. what you can deal with. Yeah, Dude, that's it. If you can't deal with it, move on. Yeah, you, you like I said before. Yeah, you got to put a clock in your head. Be like, all right, look, it was in three years. I'm mean, obviously she ain't gonna never get mm-hmm. it. I'm gone, you know, or whatever. But you have to make that determining factor. Mm-hmm. If you're willing to continue on with your business, then you make the decision just to give it up because you know your love for her is that much more, whatever. Okay, well, then that's that a choice you got to make. And don't be mad at her but for you the just, decision you make. Whatever decision made. you make. Just make sure it's a strong enough decision that you don't regret it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you're going to stay ground, stay with your business, don't regret it. If you're going to give it up to go ahead and make the other person happy, just don't regret it. I just don't want you to regret it. 90% of my clients are females. If Mine too. you're... Oh, I cannot see. If you're insecure, I'm not the man for you. I have three daughters and I must take care of them over everything. F O E. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Insecurity, that's, you can't be like that, especially now when you're dating chefs. Yeah, I ain't, and, and sad part about them, like this, like, like Tony said, and this is probably with every chef, 90% of our clients probably are females. Females would spend that bag. They like to be pampered and things. Dudes be just hating. You know, some dudes. You know, I... Hey. Since we've been married, they've been all female. Yeah. I got one... No, that's what we want to. Uh, <laughs> I think I just got... No, I'm sorry. I had two male clients, but they was doing something for their, wife, for their wives. It ain't like they hired me to do something for them. It's necessarily like they hired me to do a dinner for their wife type of thing. Um, but other than that, I think yeah, ninety ninety five percent of my clients are females. Um, even the even the my big contracts. I mean, it's females that hire me. You know what I'm yeah. saying so happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all feed me, y'all women. Y'all getting that bad. <laughs> y'all getting that bad. But um, but yeah, um, they they definitely have. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. They all females. been. So you been, definitely can't be. Hey, ma. Insecure. Hey, Ma. You cannot be insecure. You cannot be, you know, all like this when you're dating somebody that's in a business like that. You first got to just make sure that you can trust that person before you even get in a relationship with them. Mm-hmm. I mean, get up. Not, like like I said, don't need, I mean, anyone to do anything they got to do with some traveling. I don't care if it's traveling up the street. You know what I'm saying? It is what it, it is. Be a neighbor. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. A little too close to comfort, but no. okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, you you have to you you know what I'm saying. I just don't want nobody to give up their dream and passion and regret. Not only will you regret that you did it, you're gonna end up resenting that person. Yep. 
that's why I say make sure you really think about whatever decision you make. You know, just make sure you, you, you're comfortable within here. You know, but like Tony said, man, a decade trying to build this. And I'm finally seeing the fruits of my labor. And it's like, what? That's like, I waited 10 years to get to this, just to get to this level? That's why you got to be careful who you hook up with, especially who you marry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't see, I, I don't seen people come up to that level ten years, building for twenty years, and lose everything off of a marriage. Yeah, that ain't it. but again, not to keep saying because again, she didn't feel that she didn't just wake up feeling like this. No, nope. so you that's what it. I'm saying. Like, you didn't like, be careful <laughs> because again, <laughs> it ain't as sweet as it seems. You might have fun for that minute, you know what I'm saying? But uh. We got we got to look at the bigger picture. So I mean, and again, I've been in some situations, and you know what I'm saying. But because that's why I said, man, I think I I, I used to wonder why my gift opened up so late, and um, I'm glad it did because all the BS is out of me. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't trip off of certain things. So. We got husband and wife. We got a we got a husband on Instagram and a wife on Facebook. Now, hmm? husband, you got. Oi! <laughs> hey, Ricky. Hey, Slim. I need to holler at you, man. I mean, I know you've been busy. That's why I ain't reached you know out. What? Focus. But I do need to holler at you. I need you. I got a phone call with him scheduled after this. Um, this, okay. I'm a only child. It's easy for me to cut people out. Off. <laughs> yeah. I only got one sister, and it's still easy for me. Huh? I grew up an only child, but I do have two sisters. But, yeah, it's easy. But Ricky, Ricky is a good example. Ricky travels all over the place, does videos for women, does all this stuff. That He done a lot of my photo shoots and everything. And I was going to be like, see ya. <laughs> like, why would, you, why would you stop that? Why would you stop it? Stop it. If, if there's a reason to stop it, it's because... They can't be trusted, and this is not the relationship for you. And this could be, like I said before, I, I just want to keep reiterating. She's not stopping from getting back, just that one. One. Just All right? That's the, the one. The entanglement. Yeah, right, 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 right. So she feels a certain way. And it's just, it's just like, it's almost like. Because I'm not a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's, 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 it's like, you can't really. You don't want to be put in a situation. We, we okay. We know ourselves, but sometimes you be able to sniff it long enough. They know you too, so they know your weakness, mm-hmm. right? And she maybe feel like you don't need to be in that type of situation because, uh, you know what I'm saying? Because you gonna fold. I know you. I and know what that's one of your. <laughs> I know this one of your uh, weaknesses. So why oh. would I put you in that? So Allison said, and photography, and you know what? There's a lot of photographers out there that's doing sexy photo sessions and doing those lingerie photo shoots, and you got to trust that they just taking pictures and not, you know. Yeah, yeah. because it's easy to be like, you know what? How much you say it was? Well, I don't really have the cash. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Pay you in another way, <laughs> <laughs> but but nah, nah, we, we, we a good dude though. So he ain't, he ain't I mean, I also don't have no worries about that. But what, even what in this situation, no, nope, we be chilling over here. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so that could be it too. You know what I'm saying? But see, for me, I feel like the age and what I've been through. I was, I had this was only work at the age it started for me. If I would have got this. Gift some years ago, yeah, we did have some problems. Mm, really, you know what? Sheesh. <laughs> so I did this restaurant takeover in Atlanta, I right? So now know. I be watching his son, so I know where they get it from. They got it from this dude right here. He just got just, older and matured. Yeah, and then it just when I mean, you done so much and you know seen so much or whatever, like nothing that's like you. So when you walk into the kitchen, have your, so I can work. Like so, I used to cook a stadium nightclub, right? Didn't bother me one bit. But the youngers that I had working with me, oh, they couldn't lose. They they couldn't lose focus. Um, that don't equal bad exactly. Mm-hmm. 
It's business. It's business. Exactly. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. It's business. So they call me, like they call me the evil chef all this. Wife would be like her money good over here. <laughs> right. That's right, AR. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so two examples. I was in stadium, right? Strip joint or whatever. So I'm cooking, or whatever. So they used to always come back, you know, half dressed cause they strip. Chef, can you, you know, do that little woo 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 and fix me something special? Nah. You can grab them, whatever is out there, you go eat that. You know, so I don't, the other dudes, man, nah, what you need me to do? You know, mm-hmm. look, you're not about to take none of my product and make, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, nah. But I was in Atlanta, same thing. Chick came back dead, seven, bye. This up, bye. You disturbed my staff, bye. You know what I'm saying? Couple of years ago, I, I, I wouldn't have been that assertive. He um, loose. No, nah, I'm good now. Like, I'm like, now, nah, like, none of that. Now. Now I'm 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 so business focused right now, like shit. So and you married? Yeah, but I was like this before I got married. Though. I mean, I I start I've got tunnel vision. Once I entered the business, I was I was focused. I already knew what I wanted. After the, I say the first month actually working in a kitchen, I was like, this is what I want to do. Boom, and I want to do it on this level. Yeah, and I've been serious focused about since. his grind. Honestly, yeah. like when it comes to and and again. When it comes to this money and making this money and building this business, it's not gonna be none of that. Yeah, nah, where yeah, you yeah. where you going? Who you doing it for? All that is out the window. And like Ricky said, none of that equals that bag. You gotta <laughs> make that money. It needs that bag. <laughs> we got things to do. Dude got whole grandkids out this joint Hello. now. Sheesh. Um. So, um. But yeah, that's how I look at. It. But again, I think there'd be. Uh, that particular situation, if they are listening, you know what I'm saying? Like, I already know y'all going to be good. You know what I'm saying? But thank you for the, the topic. The though. topic, yeah. Was, Hopefully, was, was we were one. able to help you guys. Um. So, yeah. So, I mean, stop bringing them topics in, man. Let's chop it up. Let's rap about it. Um. But, nah, seriously, Rick, I do need a holiday. <laughs> and, seriously, I do have a call with him set up after this. So oh, we my good. bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But, um, but, yeah. So, you know, congratulations. In advance for them and all the other couples on this joint, you know what I'm saying? I, I hope we touching on things that, you know what I'm saying, can really help y'all. Um, or at least think about. I ain't gonna say, oh, we ain't a counselors. Um, we just be talking and we be using stuff that might can help us or whatever. But um we appreciate y'all. And we will see y'all next Tuesday, my man Dre with good. Hey, hey, hey. Um, all right everybody, we're gonna see y'all next week. Much love. <laughs>